Good afternoon. Welcome to Southeastern Conference Football, Athens, Georgia, Georgia Football Network. This is Larry Munson. Fine day for football, still cool as fall weather. Possible little cloudiness situation sitting in here as Vanderbilt and Georgia get together. And I guess it goes without saying mental attitude might be a big thing for the dogs this week because all week long the dog coaches have wondered about the mental attitude. Vanderbilt says this is the greatest collection of young athletes they have ever had on a campus in history. All right, get the picture, and the crowd's about 55,000 at the moment. Georgia kicks off. They're all in red, trimmed in white, of course, white pants, red trim, red helmets. Vanderbilt, solid underdog, white tops, gold pants, black trim, black helmets. To run again, no score, nothing, nothing. Very, very late in the quarter. Georgia down on the Vanderbilt, two. Vanderbilt now is in a 6-1-4, almost a 6-5. Goff going to give it to McClee. McClee, touchdown! Kevin McClay up the middle. He's coming up holding his ribs or his wrist. I don't know which. Goff is talking to him. McClay has come out with his left arm or hand held up in front of him. Kevin McClay just shot in the middle for two yards and a touchdown with eight seconds. Georgia, third and two and a 36. Vanderbilt in a 5-2. Goff looks at. Fakes Pollard. Coming out. Keeps. Got five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50. Touchdown. Ray Goff just went 64 yards, one of those patented keepers of his. Brainerd Wilson, a safety man, grabbed him by the neck of the jersey on the three-yard line, and they both slid into the end zone. Goff kind of coming backwards. Assisted off. Duke 12, Clemson nothing at the half. In the fifth inning somewhere, the Reds were 2-1 to one on the Yankees in the World Series. By the way, Happy Howard is Jerry Reed of country music fame and James Brown, the rock man said his halftime guest today on this special homecoming occasion. By the way, the crowd is pretty close to 58,000 right now. This time, no, they will not. Mike Wright kicks, long spiral angling to the left. It hits on the eight, she bounces sideways. Mark Mitchell grabs it at the last second, got to the 15, got to the 20, got to the 25, to the 30, the 35, the 40, the 45, the 50, the 40, the 35, the 30, and that caught on the 19. Mark Mitchell, as the ball bounced sideways, which would have put the dogs in a deep hole inside their own 10, grabbed it and just shot down the side. Bobby Thompson, defensive cornerback, threw one of the blocks for him. They mark it down in the Vanderbilt, 18 and a half. He shot 70 odd yards of that. Box splits to the left, McClendon, Piber, and the running backs. Georgia, second down, two, two and a fraction for a touchdown. Robinson looking, defense kind of a 6-4. McClendon. Touchdown! He got half his body in there at left guard. Willie McClendon. Ran tough and low. Tereshinsky and Collins in there. And it's 20 to nothing, Georgia, with 2.05 to go. Here and a half. Yardage back out in the 40. Commodores would have been lining up on the 25. Now they're back out in the 40. First and 25. They break Groves off to the left on the double wing, and they slot two men. Quarterback Hampton, back, looking to throw, and the dogs grab him back behind the line, three or four yards. Dennis Reserve and Swopes, the tackle got him. Hampton knocked down, out on the 44. Flanagan, third string quarterback, sliding along, Young bursting a hole at the tackle, broke the tackle of the 20, to the 15, to the 10, he got a block, touchdown, Hilton Young. Second handoff from Tony Flanagan sliding outside of his own left 
tackle and had speed out, ran one man that could have cracked him and got a block down around the five or six yard line enough to get him in. And Hilton Young, a kid out of Athens here, just broke it for the touchdown. That's the end of the game. The dogs are winner, 45 to nothing.